Waterhouse and Portmore United hold the advantage going into the return leg of their semi-finals following victories in their Red Stripe Premier League games at the National Stadium on Monday. Cavalier went into the game against Waterhouse highly fancied, having had two wins and a draw from their previous three meetings this season. But it was Waterhouse who came out of the blocks flying, with Tremaine Stewart's long-range effort sending goalkeeper Mark Bryan crashing into the upright. Cavalier then seemed to have a slight control of the game, but Waterhouse began to look more purposeful and it would eventually show in the scoreline. Skipper Keith Simpson, who had been out through injury, returned with a bang to break the deadlock in the 34th minute. And before Cavalier could catch their breaths, they were down further. Stewart's free kick from about 25 yards found its way into the back of the net five minutes from half time as Waterhouse showed they were not going to be beaten on the night. The second half petered out, but Waterhouse didn't mind as they hold the advantage going into next week's uh, second leg. I think we gave uh, ourselves uh, a, a chance um, going into the, the second half of the, the two-way tie of the semi-finals. Two early goals really um, gave us that extra push going into the half-time, and then we came back um, in, the, in the second half. I, I think we were, we were a bit untied with the possession and so forth, and Cavalier had the opportunity uh, to create some, a lot of space and the uh, players got in some good space but I think in, they were better in the decision making in the final third they could have come back to draw even the game 2-0 or 2 all or even go 3-2 I still think you know it's not over um, it's, a, it's a big task to, to come from 2-0 down but the second half was very encouraging and if you look at the match overall we had 55-45% to 45 possession so that tells us that you know we're in the game all along we just were probably a bit unfortunate um, the, 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 the injury to our centre half, I mean, when he was off the field, the first goal score, we were a little bit short, and then the second goal, a little bit afterwards. Um, the advice that we got was that the player was good to continue, so we persisted with him, but maybe in hindsight, that's a bad decision. Mount Pleasant Academy will have it all to do as well in their game against Portmore United after they were beaten 2 1 in their first leg semi final match. Against the run of play, Javan East fired Portmore into the lead two minutes before the half time break. However, Mount Pleasant hit back through a beauty from Jordan Fletcher just three minutes into the second half, and things were back on level terms. With the game heading for a draw, Mount Pleasant defenders went AWOL, leaving Roshane Sharp with an empty goal as Portmore got the cushion they needed to go into the second leg. The return leg matches will take place next week, Monday, April 15, again at the National Stadium. Jeremy Brown reporting for TVJ Sports.